Katonga is about unity of political actors regardless of their political party to undertake activities that can weaken and uh, cause a change of, uh, of, of, of the political management of the country. So it is not partisan. Katonga is not partisan. And it should not be seen as conflicting with the party. So for example, uh, at Katonga, uh, we have members of the DP, JEMA, uh, CP, uh, the DP. Uh, they are, we are all together. Mm. Why, are the other me why are the other parties not complaining about Katonga? So it's not true that there is a conflict between Katonga Road mm. and, um, and the party. Our missions are different. Where every effort is being made to see that the controversies are resolved and that the party moves on along the path it set itself, that it's not, <laughs> uh, you know, deviated or, or obstructed. So every effort is being made to make sure that there is, the controversies are resolved. And I'm still hopeful the controversies will be resolved. Really uh, was horrifying to, to me uh, to find that uh, at the party there can be, uh, you know, a situation like unfolded when the chairman called for a press conference at his headquarters <laughs> and that he had trouble getting into his head, his own headquarters and when eventually he walked in because his vehicle could not be allowed to get in I understand that then he became a captive <laughs> inside his own party and the media he had invited to address uh, remained outside, not knowing what was going on, and eventually became a victim of an attack uh, from the party. This was truly horrifying, totally unimaginable. I could not imagine that such a thing could happen. It's reprehensible. It must be condemned in the strongest terms available, and it must be stopped. The unity we are looking for is of all Ugandans, regardless of their parties. And that is also whether their parties agree with them or not. But Ugandans who are of the view that elections of the nature that we have been having will never free our country to get back into our hands and to then uh, serve us equally as citizens. Those who don't believe that will happen and believe we must fight non-violently to regain control over the country. They are the Ugandans we, we are calling to unite. The subject of the controversy are matters of 2020. Okay. This is 2023. Mm. So what do you think has been happening between 2020 and 2023? 
there was immense effort in which I was involved in trying to deal with this and to resolve it, uh, you know, in, 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 within ourselves without, uh, you know, the, this having to go into the public arena. But, you know, when things don't work out and they never work out always, mm. uh, I mean, they don't always work out, uh, sometimes they don't. So when they don't, then, uh, yes, the public becomes involved.